Nostalgia. A sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past. Do you hear that music, boys? That's nostalgia. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Picture this, if you will. The year is 2010. You've just heard about the release of the newest Call of Duty title, Call of Duty Black Ops. You pre-order it, wait until November, and you get your fresh copy. You crack open the game case, throw it into your new Xbox 360, load it up, and you see this. You see Nuketown. The iconic Nuketown. You have just experienced history, but you don't know it yet. Flash forward 11 years later, and Call of Duty Black Ops is still the best-selling Call of Duty title, with an astounding 31 million copies sold as of October 2019. This wouldn't be the case if there wasn't something, or in the case of this game, many things that were memorable. I decided to take a trip down memory lane and reinstall Call of Duty Black Ops just to see how the game holds up by today's standards, and honestly... I'm far more impressed than I was with other titles. Well, those other titles were Call of Duty Ghosts, so I guess I wasn't setting my bar too high. Black Ops still has a relatively alive player base, with many of the servers, at least where I live here in the Midwest United States, averaging 20 players or better. Unfortunately, due to never really playing this game on PC, I didn't have much unlocked but I still hopped in with my trusty MP5 and went at it. I've not touched Call of Duty Black Ops as a title in at least five years, and it feels just as good as the day it was when I first played it. I'm not kidding. I was just as happy to hop into an online match and play the game today as I was the first ever time I played this game. Now, there is a caveat. The engine does feel a bit clunky and dated, and so does the weapon play overall, but the game is still perfectly a playable experience, and in this first game alone, I managed to drop a solid 35 kills and come out with a 1.84 KDR. That's compared to the 0.5 KDR to 1.25 KDR of my fellow teammates. I could definitely see myself coming back to play more of this game in my free time. The weapons feel nice, the maps were very fresh feeling, ironically enough with the game being 11 years old, and it just felt cathartic to come back to. Then again, that is what nostalgia is. Of course, this wouldn't be a trip down memory lane if I didn't visit zombies. I loaded up, you guessed it, Kino der Toten, the theater of the dead. Nostalgia is a powerful thing, and I cannot tell you how close I was just to scrapping this video idea and just spending my next five hours playing zombies grinding to round 115 just to relive those memories. Alas, I did not. What I did do, however, was just sit there with a cheesy grin on my face when I loaded in only to hear this. Power, 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 power is always the first priority. The character quotes in this game are so very memorable. I can't tell you how many times myself or my friends have quoted Rick Toffin, Dempsey, Takeo, or Nikolai just while playing other games or just having fun. Now, I don't think it's fair to compare a game that is 11 years old to a game that is brand new or at least three months old just due to its namesake being Call of Duty or Call of Duty Black Ops. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Looking back at both Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, it's actually striking how much of a similarity there is from the weapons. For example, the FAMAS and the FFAR, the Galil and the Krig, the MP5 and the, uh, well, MP5. The gameplay feels relatively the same as well. Hopping into a match on Nuketown, I can easily run around and rack up kills, spawn flip, and then do it again. Now, mind you, this is purely anecdotal, but I can pick up pretty much any of the guns from Black Ops 1 and have them work for me, whether it's the FAMAS, the MP5, the M16, whatever. Likewise, I could do pretty much the same thing in Cold War, but the thing is, when you use the FAMAS in Black Ops 1 and then proceed to use the FFAR in Cold War, it almost feels identical with ever so slight differences in the ADS and handling. I love this. I love that I can go back to these older, nostalgic titles and do just as good as I can do in the modern titles. Quite frankly, Frankly, after this video, I'm probably going to spend the next few hours grinding multiplayer to level up and actually unlock a few things, and maybe even grind out some zombies as well. It's that good of an experience to go back and play a nostalgic title, at least for me personally. I encourage you guys to take a trip down memory lane sometime as well. Regardless of whatever your memory lane game is, it can bring you joy and have plenty of good memories flooding back into your head. But be warned though, you may get kind of carried away with it. I know I have. Do you remember your first Call of Duty title? What about the friends you made along the way? I've met plenty of great people on these nostalgic titles that I am still friends with to this day. Let me know in the comments below or over on our Discord. I'd love to hear about your first ever COD and the experiences that you had with it, or any game for that matter. As always, the links will be in the description so you can join our Discord. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Peace.